Hello and welcome, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. This is a six month reading for the element of water, for the water signs. Uh, really, really important for you um, to now pay attention. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, we're going to have a look at what the next six months bring. The next six months, technically speaking, I'm recording it at the end or at the, at the end of the first week of July. So that reading gets you through to around the end of the first week in January 2024. Um, let's have a look where water signs are going in that time. That is superb. You're going to like this. Oh, and we're getting an extra card. Now, this is amazing. Okay. So, you ready? What happens here is what the universe is trying to achieve for water science is to find a more balanced view of the world, a more balanced way of looking at where could I now go from here and um, manifest just that and let go along the way what isn't working. Now, talked about water signs. The water signs that shows up here first in the first thing is Pisces, which is the 12th sign, one of three water signs. Pisces is all about understanding how deep and sensitive you are. Now that applies to, to all water signs, if that makes sense. Even though when we look at astrology, um, Pisces seem to be an extra bit deeper. Doesn't really matter here. The point the guides are making is because you're very sensitive, you have to understand that what doesn't work for you is to arm yourself and fight your way through changes. Now, here's the first thing. You have the South Node um, coming in as the first thing. So as we're going towards the six months, right now, and it will only be resolved in about eight weeks or you know thereabouts, um, right now, pay attention to anything to do with your ancestors and anything to do with relationships that are no more, right? Anything that, that flares up, if you have any dealings with anybody from way, from way back when or, or, or from your past, if that makes sense, what doesn't work for you is to pay a lot of attention to their opinions. They're just opinions. They have no bearing on anything. They're just opinions. And yet you let them affect you. That's not what is supposed to happen. Um, and the only way to deal with this, apparently here, because we're in Pisces energy when it comes to dealing with your karma as well, and with your past, um, is by removing yourself, if that's possible. Have no long and outdrawn conversations about shit that, 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 that isn't even real anymore, that happened years ago and someone just wants to rekindle this. Uh, you know, bless them, maybe they try to change stuff and maybe they just need clarification for themselves where you're not the person that, that gives it to them. Quite simple. Right now, first thing the guides are saying to you, as you're heading towards a better understanding of where your life is going, which is what the next six months are for uh, water signs, the next six months are about figuring out where am I in the scheme of things, where would I like my life to go and what can I do to manifest that? And that's what we're talking about here. And ultimately, what the guides are saying to you, number one, in order for you to look at your life, stop looking at other people's lives. Whatever has happened, has happened, right? You can change the past. So, uh, and, 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 you know, if you keep talking about it, or what I'm getting is actually other people keep talking about it and you're, and you're just part of it. That makes sense. So if you are a person that um, has dealings with family members, um, um, and maybe some, some, some family members that are not super close to you, if that makes sense, or maybe they should be close to you, but they aren't, step away. It is not solvable at this point in time. There's a 
difference of opinion which cannot be resolved at this point in time. And it's also important because you have the South Node, which is our karmic energy here. And uh, what the guides are saying to you is, um, don't stay there, get sucked in by some stuff that really isn't for you and then lose your cool because that's going to be your karma, right? What you have to focus on water signs is the middle of your six months line. As we're coming into, uh, into the three months, things are already looking much different because we have the energy of Aquarius and the energy of the eighth house. Now, Aquarius, even though it's not a water sign, it's the energy they're giving us here for the three months line, is by default a giver, right? It's known as the water bearer. But Aquarius always does better when it collaborates. And the message that we're getting comes from Aquarius, which is the sign before ours. Well, if you, if you look at the Pisces energy, right? Um, it is the 11th sign, and 11 is the strongest number. And as a matter of fact, that card here, that Aquarius energy, has the number 11, which means new beginnings, super powerful. What the universe is saying to you, water signs, and I'm a water sign myself, is to not take no for an answer and to not go things alone. Collaborate, reach out if you're struggling. Um, it's also interesting because you have the energy of mystery here and the eighth house. Now, mystery means that when you come to your three, to your three months line, you know, so now it's what, July, uh, August, September, end of September, that makes sense, right? So it, it doesn't flow evenly. So it's not here we are in eight weeks, here we are in, 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 in 10 weeks, here we are in 12 weeks. It doesn't quite flow that way. But it really feels like that when it comes to the end of the third month, beginning of the fourth month, counting from now, um, you will already be in a much more collaborative state. But what happens is, as you come towards mm, November, end of October, November, um, energy, um, you can then also find yourself in in having energy of, I'm not quite sure where I'm going here. So life can be a bit of a mystery in the early days of November. Now, the interesting thing here is that you have the eighth house. The eighth house is all about lust. It's all about what is hidden during the day. Um, so what you ought to be doing, water signs, when it comes to sort of end of October, beginning of November, as you're heading toward um, seeing things with a bit of a, of a new perspective, um, you should be daring. If you are a person that says, okay, part of my, my journey here is manifesting a, a, a new partner, is manifesting a new beginning, um, while the universe doesn't promise anything, the energy here clearly flows into, it can happen, it could happen, as a matter of fact, it should happen based on the energies in your midline, if that makes sense. Um, but you will have to be daring. So if you're waiting, if you are a person that goes like, okay, well, if it's meant to be, it'll come to me. That's normally the approach of typical water signs. All the guides are saying is that's gonna not, that's gonna be uh, pointless. You are asked to be a bit more daring, right? If you get rejected, so be it. At least you, 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 you clarified stuff, right? So point is here in your end of October line, whatever that means, um, you will also see that people are much more open to you making advances, if that's what you want to do, if that makes sense, right? And then towards the the, um, the six months line, is another important thing. Remember, an extra card came out. So the Midhaven is the extra card that came out. And when you look at your chart, if you just look at your chart, where the, where the, where the planets are, that becomes your birth chart. But if you cut it in the middle, the mid line is known as the mid haven, and uh, or mid heaven even, depending on who you who who you ask and how people write reports. And it's about balance. So what the guides are saying to you in anything and everything you do, yes, you will likely have to let go of the past. There will be uh, uh, energies that you have to walk away from because you're not strong enough to deal with them right now. Um, when it comes to end of October, and from, and from, uh, beginning of November, and, 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 and um, you are asked to be a bit more um, in charge when it comes to who you want in your life, what you want in your life, right? So go for stuff, if that makes sense. And ultimately, um, that's the whole point for the water signs. Unfortunately, 
uh, and I'm a water star myself. The, while you get a lot of ideas and like, okay, I know, where, I know where I'm going and apparently you're not in a bad place either, right? So it's not that we're going to be in a bad place as water signs, but there is exhaustion at the end of the six months line and the end of six months line, because I'm recording this at the end of the first week in July, 2023. So it gets you through to the end of the first week of January, 2028. You will feel exhausted from the changes that are happening now over the summer and autumn and winter uh, of this year for you water signs. And all the guides are saying is, sit with it, right? Be, that was wrong, be cool about it. Just sit with it. Just allow it all to flow naturally. And it will. And then the outgoing energy um, is the energy of Virgo. Virgo is a sign that doesn't really give in on the stress, so there's no reason to be stressed about it. But exhaustion is the energy that is here. And all you need to do is to allow yourself, while you need time to recuperate, for want of a better word, is to digest what you've just been through without making... Sounds a bit wrong. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> what we're being asked as water signs is to not question what has happened. Just understand it needed to happen. I made the decisions I made and the outcome is what it is. And I'm not going to take any of that back. It will be good because my life is good. I'm in a good place. And first and foremost, water signs, we are, you are a good person. In any case, that was a six months reading for the element of water. You are watching Thomas' Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yana. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Thank you so much. I see you all very soon. Bye bye.